This happened quite by surprise when I was visiting the sacred city of Andrahahapura. And just by chance we went to a nearby park inside a forest. And I could not believe my eyes when I looked on top of a large rock outcropping. There was two enormous stones which appeared to have been dragged up on top, balanced, and then stabled with rocks underneath them, boulders underneath them, to stop them from rocking. You can see them here. They also appear to have been worked under their lower surfaces. I estimated that both of these large stones were approximately a thousand or more tons each. There is very little information locally about them, either in Sinhalese or English, and the area itself is just seen as a natural formation. But there are many telltale signs that these rocks, these large boulders, were placed up here. Interesting channels. You can see here how the, the main rock outcropping they sit upon is arranged and there you can see quite clearly how these two enormous boulders are not part of this local geology in the sense that they're part of the main rock outcropping they've been clearly either been there and worked or they've been brought here they're absolutely enormous in a minute you'll see the scale in comparison to a six foot friend of mine who's coming into the shot right now. There are large boulders jammed into the underside of the main boulders and then the back there you can see, we'll have a closer look in a minute, you can see that there is a, a what should be a pretty standard dolmen, but it is still quite large by any standards. These are absolutely megaliths. These are not natural formations. These have been either brought here or moved and shifted into position and then held up with those large boulders underneath them. Now you can see the scale now quite clearly as this young man comes into the frame. six foot tall and you can see the size of the stones here's a closer look at the adjacent more standard dolmen it still had a substantial capstone i'd reckon it would probably be about 50 to 80 tons again this is not on any archaeological survey it's not on the tourist site it's hidden because of the main buddhist center nearby up at the top there on the upper right hand side you'll see it now is another dolmen 